what's up everybody thank you for watching my channel you know my videos are now going to be about living in the united states this includes talking about things you need to know what i'm going to be talking about today is about how bad credit score can ruin your life in america first of all let me let you know that i'm in los angeles california Before I talk about how bad credit score can ruin your life, I am not a credit professional or financial professional. I'm just the guy who is speaking from experience. I first want to let you know how you can get a bad credit score. Whether you were born in the US or you are from a different country, the moment you, you get your address, all these credit card companies, the banks, loan agency, furniture, television, they will all start sending you offers that you can take this, you don't have to pay later, the best offer on the market, cash back, all of these things. The problem is a lot of people get carried away with those things without realizing that they have to pay those things later until it's time to pay. When they can't pay, that's when the agency, the same people that were nice to you from the beginning, they will start sending you letters. You need to pay your bill, final notice, all this stuff. And after a certain time, if you can pay, they will report you to the credit bureau. And every time you don't pay your bill, they'll report you to the credit bureau. And the problem with reporting you to the credit bureau is not a good thing. Because what happened is each time they report you, there will be points deducted from your credit score. And how the credit score works is that the credit score range from 300 score to 850. The credit score is that 300, three digits that many banks or credit card company use to determine whether you can pay them back. Each time you apply for something, they will see if you have a very good score. Then that's how they will accept you. So anyway, each time they do that, let's just say it's anything from 670 credit score to 850 is very good. That's how it worked. The thing is, you don't want people reporting you all the time that you are not paying because every time it goes into your credit history, it's like I give the guy money he didn't pay. So that's how it works. So now that you know a little bit about how the credit score worked let me get into how it will affect you like i was saying earlier whenever they report you it deducts the point and your credit score become bad once your credit score become bad it's the, one of the worst experience you can go through because what happened is if you decide to buy the car the company will check your score and if your score is low they will deny you if you decide to apply for a credit card they will check your score and if your score is low, they will deny you. Everything you try to do, if you want to put on your credit, they will deny you. I know some people might be thinking, well, I don't need a credit card. The thing is, the system in this country is built around, and one of the things that the system in the United States built around is credit. So you really need credit to, 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 to do a lot of things. Buying a house, you need credit to get loan from the bank. Let's just say your wife is in a hospital and the health insurance does not cover, which happens all the time. That's not cover everything now you need some money to help with a medical bill and you decide to go to the bank to get some loan whatever bank you go to they will check your credit score and if your credit score is bad they will deny you so everything you do in the USA is about the credit score. That's why I said that well, how bad credit score can ruin your life. If you decide to, let's just say, for example, you want to buy the house, they will deny you. Because every house you buy, like I said, unless you're rich, you need a loan. Something loan, like a lot of times people say, I bought a house. They don't actually pay for that house. Unless they are rich people that have the cash to pay. But a lot of time, a working class person, low class or working class person, when they say they buy a house, they actually actually haven't buy the house. They just took a loan from the bank. They signed the document. They did some down payment and something. If you were looking for an apartment in the US, they will check your credit score. And if your credit score is bad, they might deny you or what they will do is they will add more. They will tell you to pay more deposit because your credit score is horrible. It's bad. And if you, the one thing you don't want to happen is for your debt to go into, for your debt to go into collection the collectors the debt collectors are the most annoying people in america these people will program your number to call you every five minutes every 10 minutes and it's almost like they are so annoying that they, they program it with machine that they, they don't even have to dial your number and each time they will do that they will keep doing it keep doing it until when you answer it takes a few minutes to answer because they don't really do that but one of the things you don't want to happen is you don't want your credit to go to debt collectors because these people they are very annoying yeah they will call you imagine you have two collectors 
or three collector on your credit um, that you owe. Imagine they are calling you every five minutes. It's so annoying. So one of the things you don't want to do in the U.S. is for your, for your debt to go to collect, collection. And another thing, once you go to collection, you will never get any kind of credit card. Because when you apply for credit cards, they will check your credit. Anything you do in the U.S. here that you're not paying physical cash for, they will check your credit. If you if you are out there to buy a, a, a nice computer to work with, they will check your credit. If you go open a business bank account, they will check your credit. Every little thing you do in the U.S., they will check your credit. So that's why bad credit score can ruin your life because each time they check your credit and your credit is bad they will deny you so one of the things that i say is to a lot of people is always check your credit score and just to make one thing clear i am not a credit professional or financial professional i'm just the guy who is speaking from experience so i hope if you are looking for somebody to help you with your credit score maybe you should find a professional who can help you and give you the right idea but bad credit score in america can really ruin your life i hope this video those that are watching this video can learn one or two things from this and when you if you are planning on moving to the united states these are some of the things you should really keep in mind that when you come here don't fall for all the offers and if you are falling for them make sure you are making enough money to pay for some of these things that you are taking whether it's credit card because some people have credit lines that is 10,000, 20,000, but how do they get these good credit lines because they keep paying their bill? The number one rule to getting a better credit score is pay your bill on time and you won't get a bad credit score. So anyway, um, I hope you guys learn one or two things from there. Each time that I make these type of videos, I'm learning something and I'll keep making this type of video. My viewers have been telling me that I haven't made video in a long time. So I want to keep making videos, telling people about life in America, some of the things you can learn and I'm learning every day. So if you want to add something to this video, you can always add something. I will appreciate you if you do that because I may not cover everything. Thank you for watching. Like I said earlier, I am not a professional um i'm not a financial professional or i'm not a credit repair professional i'm just speaking from my experience but however if you really pay attention today and you make then you do your research you will understand what i'm trying to talk about thank you for watching bye bye